something like that. <laughs> Lamp. Hello. Listen, I am in the thinking process of turning my bedroom into a dark Victorian forest green cozy cave. By thinking process, of course, someone of my mental capacity, anywhere from three hours to 2.7 years. As you might have seen by the fact that I've done the mural on the wall and then nothing else. <laughs> I thought I would make a little lamp. What kind of lamp? I just heard you ask. That's a good question. Draw inspiration from Art Nouveau lamps. <laughs> and if you've never seen Art Nouveau lamps, I'm trying to fi find a good sound effect for how I feel about Art Nouveau lamps. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, that's the one. An authentic Art Nouveau lamp, a little spency. I thought we could make one. Now to do this, uh, I'm gonna have to be my own model, which I'm not gonna pretend that that doesn't feel extremely self-indulgent, but also, heck, why not? So, <laughs> do a little browsing and find a lamp that would work good for the base, figuring out what kind of pose. A lot of times when I make videos, I have a general understanding of if people are gonna like it. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have no idea. Not a single one. I want to try it and I think it sounds like a little fun. So strap in, buckle up, straddle down, and let us take a journey through time. Ooh. Ooh. Also, this video is sponsored by Native. A little bit more about that later. But for now, we've got some researching to do. Are you ready to look at some lamps? I changed out of my fancy dress. Surprise, surprise. I was already sweating through it. <laughs> People like to poke fun and say, Rachel, why are you always talking about how sweaty you are? It's just part of who I am. Everybody has their thing. Some people have astrology. I talk about my sweaty armpits. What's the problem? Let's look at some Art Nouveau inspo, shall we? Also, before we go any further, I got this letter in my PO box. Hi, Rachel, I'm Nina. I'm from New Zealand and I'm eight. I hope you put this card in one of your videos. Did you know that saying crap is as rude as a saying poop? Anyway, I really like your videos, bye. How can I not put that in my video for such a bold and brave statement? <laughs> Thank you, Nina. <laughs> I did not realize how strongly I pined for lamps until I started looking up inspiration for them. Very swirly twirly designs, figural aspect at the bottom, whether it be a lady or a cherub or a fairy or a frog. Oh. And I really just, I love like the movement of everything. Something like this is very close to what I'm thinking. Ooh, little demon bat woman. Mm. You're a beautiful baby. Mm. Obsessed, love it. <sighs> what is, am I okay? So this is the idea. I want to find a lamp that is on its own, very similar to that time period, but then adding the figure at the bottom. Look at what's for sale. We've got some that are in the 200 ish range. But then you look at the more authentic ones and you start getting into the thousands of dollars range. It seems like it varies, but also more than I'm a little bit willing to spend for a lamp. Let's see if we can find a dupe. Something like this would work pretty well. We're definitely on the right track here. I'm going to do a little bit more research. I'm excited. Why am I so excited? <laughs> All right. Let's do a team break. <laughs> I then began the process of figuring out what pose I wanted to do. That meant throwing on this like Roman Greek goddess dress that I have that doesn't quite fit, but I don't want to talk about it. Channeling my best lamp. And then doing that pose in 360 so that I could take screenshots and make a reference. And of course, a gremlin one for good measure. And with that, let's scoot our boots over to the ad segment. Today's video is sponsored by Native. I've been working with them for years now. I always get just a teensy bit too excited whenever I get a new shipment from them. Not only does Native do really yummy smelling deodorants. Yeah, I said yummy. Do I want my underarm to smell like vanilla cupcake? Absolutely. But they also have a ton else to offer like lotion, toothpaste, body wash. I swear by their body washes. As a Taurus and a lover of all things smelly, they have some of the best scents out there. This time around, I got grapefruit and bergamot, 
cherry and vanilla macaron, and my tried and true coconut and vanilla. Also, they're made of clean, effective, simple ingredients that are easy to understand. They're made with plant-based cleansers, citric acid for pH balance, vegan and cruelty-free. Cheers to that. And to celebrate the LGBTQ community, they have donated $75,000 to the Trevor Project, which is the world's largest crisis organization for the youth of the LGBTQ community. That's really hard to say. That is Native. If you wanna check them out, head to the link in the description and you can save 20% off of your first order if you use the code MAXI7. Thank you so, so much Native for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's get back to it. <sighs> I have purchased a lamp. <sighs> Been a while since I proclaimed my hatred of styrofoam. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Our base lamp. Oh, it's really freaking cute. <laughs> <laughs> Having an Anchorman moment right now. I love lamp. I love lamp. I don't know if I have a light bulb for this. Un momento. What are the chances that this is the right fitting for what I need? Place your bets. That is kismet, baby. What are the lumens on that baby? But you get the idea. Stinking cute. And this is gonna make a perfect base. It's not a bad quality lamp. This is not the cheapest DIY that I've ever done. This was around $80. This is real glass. It's pretty sturdy. Theoretically, I think you could probably do this with a cheaper lamp. I just wanted it to be nice. Kinda bougie. The Pixar lamp set in the 1920s. <laughs> I think we can start planning out the figure we want to do at the bottom. I have watched a few sculpting videos on ye old tube. Yesterday. As I imagine the sculpting masters of old used to do, I sat down with a big bowl of skeddy and soaked in some knowledge. This course will help you punch ignorance in the tooth. Ignorance about sculpting the human figure at least. First thing I need to start doing is a skeletal structure. Much like what I do with my felt creatures, I made some notes. Basically, what he did, break down the structure in cranial units, which if cranial unit isn't the sickest band name I've ever heard, <laughs> jotted it down quickly. I struggle a lot with proportion, especially when it comes to making wire armatures. I think that'll help me kind of get my proportions right. We should probably figure out how big we want this baby. Who I have. Measuring tape. I probably don't, and that makes me quite sad. Ah! Hello? Okay, well, where's my yardstick then? Do I not have a single instrument for measuring? <laughs> Aha! On the base for the feet, this mark right here, I don't want to make her too, too big. Eat. Yeah, I think that'll do. And then we gotta figure out what these cranial usions. Now we gotta figure out what these cranial units of measurement are going to be, which sounds like math. I gotta pull up a seat and use all of my, my brain cells. Time to do some math. Using brain cells I haven't used since high school. Oh no, I forgot how much I hate this. Please don't make me do it. All right, my brain hurts. So what we've got here, got our cranial unit here, the head and neck, that's two units. One, two two, three and a half, one over for the hip, three down to the knee, down to the ankle. For this, I had to decide what thickness of wire I wanted to do, and I ended up going with the big boy over here just because it felt a little bit more sturdy. So following that handy dandy chart, I just got to work and making this little figurine. Are you ready to sculpt? So I've got my arch nemesis here, epoxy sculpt. The last time I tried to use it, didn't really um, do it right. <laughs> There's part A and part B mixed together equal parts, one solid color. And the problem I was having when I did my gaming chair had sort of like a marbling effect as I do. My brain thought, good enough. 
enough, it was not good enough. And as a result, it didn't cure properly. It didn't cure properly. And some of the parts of my chair are still to this day a little bit squishy. We want a solid cure. I want proper Robert Smith vibes throughout. To do this, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful than I was before. Measurement tool. Really work small batch. My problem with the other one, I think, is that I was just taking my claws and digging it out. Huge glob, trying to mix it together. Much more small scale here. A little bit more manageable. <laughs> I think my chaos can be tamed for the entirety of today. I'm very nervous. <laughs> We're gonna give it the old art school try. <laughs> I have my reference photos on my tablet, my little figurine here. Probably attach it to the lamp with an anchor wire. Sitting here shaking in my grandpa socks. I'm having fun. No, it's fine. Once we get started, I think everything will be smashing. It's just uh, the before process that gets a little stressful. Yeah, baby. of measurement, check. Gloves, check. A willingness and acceptance of failure, always. The main thing I'm concerned about, so sticky, but I did learn a trick. You mix it up, make a little ball, set it out for 10 to 15 minutes, and it'll be a little bit less sticky. Kind of have an assembly line going where I mix one, put it aside. All right, so now we take these two globs, mix together. Man, I'm already annoyed. Ah! Fold it in, David. You like that? <laughs> I was watching this sort of a process video of someone sculpting with epoxy clay and it was ASMR. If you could see my face during the entire video, it was probably this. I'm gonna be honest in saying that ASMR videos have the opposite effect on me where I'm just <laughs> slightly infuriated the whole time. <laughs> I also have, I think, uh, misophonia, specifically with chewing sounds. Normal ASMR doesn't give me the ick, but this one specifically was just like And I hated every single second of it. All right, I think this is a solid color. So I'm gonna set that aside and then do a couple more balls. One thing that my monkey brain did absorb while watching those sculpting videos is to start small and just bulk it up. You can always add more later, but you don't wanna add too much. Also, a lot of this body mass, oop, rival band name, is gonna be covered up by the dress anyway, so it wasn't too, too important. Gonna sculpt the boobies. I would like to know if the old sculpting masters ever got a little bashful. Do you think Michelangelo was sculpting David and at some point was like, <laughs> is it pee pee? Just roughing out these shapes because She's gonna have a whole dress on, which I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that. I think I'm literally gonna make sheets of fabric with this and then like drape it on. She came out a bit, um, she's having a fainting spell and the lamp is catching her, which was not exactly my intention, but I'm not mad at it. The general public saw my ankle. Oh. Her head is a little sloopy and I have to keep wrapping it up because it doesn't really have a lot of understructure. I'm very sticky. I lost the gloves because I couldn't be bothered. So it's my own fault, but still. At the risk of having way too many Spongebob references in this video, I mean, Come on. I struggled the most with the face on this project. I, <laughs> she looked really rough for about 86% of this entire process. Woof. Yeah. 
And then, akin to the humans that decided they want to invent the pug, it was time for folds. Time to paint. My favorite part. Thankfully, I don't think that this is gonna be all too hard. I'm really not doing too many colors here. I found this lady at a thrift store a while ago. Don't look at me, look at the... I'm gonna use this as reference for the colors for my little lamp girl. What I'm going to do, and truth be told, what I've already gone ahead and done. Start with a base coat of black, and then I'm gonna mix in some gold with the black, and hopefully that will get me a little bit lighter, like a more of a brown maybe. A little bit of gold for the extra highlights. Here she is. I have gone ahead and painted everything black. Happy to report all of the epoxy sculpt has set correctly. So freaking excited. It feels like a little bit of a redemption for myself. It's <laughs> I'm gonna mix in gold gilding paint. Oh, that doesn't look right. It's a wee bit chunky. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Mixing these two, you can't really see it. You know, I often kind of feel like Bob Ross mixed with Miss Frizzle. I'm not wholly against. No, I'm just gonna... Ooh, yeah, I think that will do. Creepily whispers to herself. You ready for this? I don't think you are. Oh yeah. Scrumptious. Scrumptious is a great word. Why don't we use that to describe things more often? I'm having a great time. I just feel like I often um, overthink every single aspect of my life, but more specifically YouTube videos. And so it feels good just to have an idea pop in my head and be able to do it. <laughs> I don't even know where the idea to do this came from. I think it's probably an amalgamation of Nick and I really just, oh, just stepping up that antique game lately. <laughs> this is really coming together. Kind of reminds me of, you know, when there's a bronze statue, one part of it is just really worn down. I always like to run up to it and be like, all right, what's the good luck spot? For instance, if you've ever seen any dog statue ever, <laughs> One of those moments where I'm like, all right, maybe humans aren't that bad. Oh, God. All right, friends, I think that just about wraps it up. So I will see you in the video. This is bringing me so much more joy than I even thought it would. Especially, I got a better light bulb for this. The light it gives off is so nice. I can't wait to see it at night. Ooh. Wrap up. For the most part, this is pretty much exactly what I was thinking. Quite honestly, I can't believe that it actually worked as smoothly as I was hoping. <laughs> Usually that's not the case. The epoxy clay 
is super solid, not squishy anywhere. I think for the most part, I really like her. Her face is kind of the only thing that I'm so, so about. I had a really hard time. Next time I use epoxy clay for figurines, add a little bit more structure to the face. As I was working on the face, it kind of just from the weight of itself, like smooshed in and fell down. Initially, I had it so that she was going like this, but then eventually it just kind of went. So it made it really, really hard to sculpt her face. And so as a result, her face is a bit wonky. Also because faces are freaking hard to sculpt. My mantra for this is basically, it's a lamp. I'm really happy with it. Life is short. Make yourself into your own knickknacks. I think overall this cost me around $100, 80-ish for the lamp, and then I think the epoxy clay was around $30, and I still have a ton left. Like I said, it's not the cheapest DIY thing I've ever done, but I just, I really wanted it to be nice, and I didn't want to get a chintzy lamp just for the sake of a YouTube video, you know? I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed, even if you, you know, have no plans of making a lamp of yourself. Or if you do, 10 out of 10 recommend. I, I just had a good time. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like I gotta take a break and make videos that make me very happy and this is exactly what this was. That's it. Thank you so much Native for sponsoring this video. Once again, guys, if you want 20% off of your first order with Native, you can head to the link in the description and use the code MAXI7. Patreon, $5 a month. Patreon.com slash Rachel Maxi. Almost weekly content between this channel and my Patreon. Make sure to check that out if you want. If you don't want, I still love you. It's okay. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every other Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm the scat man. Life is full of taking risks. Risks. <gasps> oh, baby. Cranial, cranial. Let me tell you, if cranial. <sighs> Do you think Michelangelo? Michelangelo. Citric, citric, citric acid. All right, I should probably get out of the tub now. Wow.